Okay, now we are going to identify the difference between container and container fluid classes. To identify that, first we create a div with the class container. And in the div we go with h1 and inside that we write i am a container. Okay. Then we create another div with the class container fluid. Inside that also we write h1 and inside that we write I am container fluid. Okay. Then we apply colors for this first div bg success and for the second div we apply the color bg info and when we reload the browser we get something like this then look at the divs first one is the container div the container div takes doesn't take the whole width of the browser the container fluid takes the whole width of the browser therefore if you can see you see the margin left here in the container div and also the margin right but the container fluid div doesn't have any margin to the left or right but when we shrink the browser we when we go to the extra small size there are no differences both are same but when we increase the size at smaller size level at bootstrap we get the margin right and left when we increase the size to medium we also get the size the margin to the left and right in the container too but container fluid doesn't have any margin when we go to the larger sizes also we have the margins and the secret is in this extra small size only we don't see any margin it means there is no difference between the container and the container fluid classes in only extra small devices all the other devices display differences with these attributes it means container class has margin to the left and margin to the right while container fluid class doesn't have any margin okay now we are going to identify the difference between the container class and the row class here i have two divs first div is the container div with the color bg success it means the green color second div is the row div it has the bg info color it means the blue color with these two divs when you go to the browser you will see that uh, first one first h1 tag in the container div uh, is placed like this and the second h1 tag in the row div is placed like this and if you look it look at this uh, carefully uh, first h1 tag has a kind of a margin here to the left second h1 tag uh, doesn't show the letter capital t it means it has a negative margin uh, if you go to the google search bar and type bootstrap css and first thing that you get is get bootstrap slash css if you go to that page and on the right side you have a grid system and if you go to the introduction part uh, here it says columns create gutters and uh, gaps between column content via padding that padding is offset in rows for the first and last column via negative margin on rows what is important is first and last columns via negative margin on rows it means the rows the row classes have negative margins from the left and from the right this this margin creates the h1 tag in the row div uh, to be moved left because of that you cannot see the letter capital t in this row div and if you change the colors of the h1 tags first one we change the color with the class bg danger it means the red color and also i apply this red color to the h1 tag in the row class and if you reload what you see is you have green color from the left a little margin and on the right also you have green color green color is coming from 
the BG success is the green color it is coming from the container div it means inside the container div you have h1 tag with the color of red it means the container div has the color of green and h1 has the color of red but uh, h1 doesn't take the total width because it is in the container the container class therefore has the margin to the left and margin to the right a little margin that margin is shown by the green color but the row class doesn't have any margin it has a negative margin to the left that is the difference between the container class and the row class okay now we are going to identify the columns in bootstrap before that uh, when you go to the CSS page in bootstrap it says rows must be placed within a container therefore first we write the container here and inside that we have a row and uh, and our row has BG success class it means the color green and inside the row we have another div with the class name col4 col means columns columns 4 columns 4 means the total uh, the width of the div has four columns to understand this we go to the browser and uh, if we draw here this total has if you draw like this uh, here the total container has 12 columns and the h1 tag here has four columns it is shown here the container has 12 columns inside there is a row it also has 12 columns and inside that we have a div and that div has four columns if we change it into six it means the container has 12 columns the row has 12 columns here this div has six columns if nothing is shown here the container word is only there no col something here it means it has the 12 column width because the container has margin left and right the 12 columns start from here uh, not from the total left corner starting from the margin 12 columns with the container and inside that container you have a row it means the rows 12 columns also start with this margin and uh, here this column 6 col6 uh, has the width of the half of the page therefore when we reload you see that this uh, column has the width of 6 columns and uh, the total container has the width of 12 columns half of the width is taken by the h1 tag it is shown here full width uh, is denoted by container it means the 12 columns not the margins after the margins 12 columns are there and the row shows also 12 columns inside that you have six columns it means half of the width of the row and also if you change it into 12 and we reload that we see that the h1 tag is taking the total width of the container and the row but here you have a padding here applied to the left to the right we can remove that padding if you go to the code it says the row has the color bg success and next to the row we write no gutters when we reload we remove the left and right padding therefore we have i am the heading with the width of the 12 columns when we change the width of the browser when we shrink down we see that uh, in the extra small size we have it here and the heading uh, same with the container width left and right you have the margin and also in 
smaller width you have the container margin and inside that you have the total width of the h1 tag and we go to the medium size it is same large size same and extra large size it is also same therefore if you write col2 within a div it means what is inside the div will take the total width of the parent element here it is the row total width of the parent element will be taken by col12 at any size it means it doesn't matter how, how you increase the size at any size it will be same but if you write like this columns for extra small you need 12 columns and columns for small and medium you need 8 and column for medium you need 6 and columns for large you need 4 and columns with extra large you need 3 and when we reload you see something like this it is because here the size is extra large and it says when the size is extra large it is three columns it means what is inside this div will get the width of three columns what is inside is the h1 tag i am the heading tag therefore i am the heading text will be placed inside three columns therefore it is here it is placed using three columns here it is having three columns and in total you have 12 columns and when we shrink down decrease the size of the browser and when we go to the go from large extra large size to large size here it is the large size it says call lg4 it means the width of the column is 4 here i am the heading will be displayed with the with the width of uh, 4 columns here it is four columns width and total you have 12, 12 columns and when you uh, decrease the size again down to medium size here it is taking the half of the width therefore it is mentioned here when the size is medium the columns should be six therefore i am the heading taking uh, the width of six columns half of the row and when we decrease the size down to small and medium it should be having eight columns therefore let's uh, shrink down here it is small and medium now it is having eight columns when we shrink down to extra small here it is small and medium to extra small it is taking 12 columns it means the total width of the parent row here it is therefore when we increase if you look at here 12 8 6 4 3 therefore when we go again 12 8 6 4 and 3 
Now we talk about centering a div. Here we have a container and inside that we have a row. And inside that we have the content wrapped by another div with the class of call 6. And here if we explain this code, it is starting with the container div. It means it is taking the margin from left and right. And uh, inside that we have a row with the color of BG success. It means the color of green. Inside that we have another div with the class of call 6 and BG warning. BG warning is the color for yellow. Therefore, we should see a, a div and inside that we should uh, see the color green. And inside that div, we should see another div. And that div should take place half of the width of the parent row and with the color of yellow. And if you go to the browser, we see that. Uh, if we draw what we see, here it is the left margin of the container div. And here it is the right margin of the container div. These are the margins of the container view and inside that uh, that container view we have this row and inside that row we have another column. This is this is known as call 6. It means it is taking the width of uh, half of the uh, row and on the right side also we have another column which has no content automatically added by bootstrap it is explained by this code here the container is there meaning left margin and right margin if you don't need the right or left margins then you can go with container fluid class and save it and reload you will get something like this without the left and right margin but we go back to the container class and save and reload okay then we what we need to do is the centering of the content it means the centering of this call 6 div in order to center we go with another class offset offset 3 what this means is if you go to the browser if I draw Offset is the empty div with the columns. It means offset 3 means here it is offset 3. It means 3 columns are empty. Next we have 6 columns. Here 3 columns are empty. Next we have 6 columns. And the total in this row we have 12. First three columns are empty next six columns are having content it means up to the right side of the content area we have nine columns and or the other three columns are also empty automatically added by bootstrap and also the offset means the margin on the left side only therefore offset means the left side not left and right when we go with the browser and decrease the screen size, we can see that if it is extra large, it is okay. The content is uh, clearly shown. Then large, okay. Medium sometimes, okay. And small, it is very small. And for extra small, you won't be able to see the content clear. Therefore, what we need is for extra small and small sizes of the screens we need we don't need the left and right offset all the other sizes we need those left and right offsets therefore what we need to do is we have to tell the browser we don't need the offset for extra small and smaller screen sizes we write offset md3 it means if the size is medium or large this means medium or larger than medium you will we will have offset md3 it means left side three columns empty if it is less than medium we won't have 
three columns empty on the left side. Therefore, uh, if you think like this, if it is more than medium size, you will have left side three columns empty. And if it is less than medium size, we have to tell the browser it should be 12 columns taking the total width and also we have to tell the browser again call md6 what this means is we tell the browser two things for medium size this one first and medium this one second it means first we tell the browser if it is medium or larger size then apply three empty columns to the left and if it is medium or larger size the same thing the content should be having six columns if it is less than the medium size the total width will be 12 columns it means taking the total width of the row having no margins to the left and right let's uh, save this and reload and decrease the screen size of the browser here it is uh, extra small we see that no bunch is applied now we increase the size to small here uh, the container starts to uh, add the left and right margin of the container but no uh, columns margins are applied now we increase the size to medium now we see the margins in the green color left and right because if it is medium or larger than medium we have the offset applied here and also if it is medium or large we have the content in six columns therefore less than the medium the content content is taking 12 columns more than the medium the content is taking only six columns here you can see the content is taking six columns only then more than the medium means if we increase the screen size again and again it will be centering therefore you can see if you need to center the content the method is to use offset before using the offset you have to calculate the total number of divs that you have the total number of columns that you have therefore if it is 12 it won't be having any left or right margin Therefore, if it is having an offset, it means left margin is applied. This way, you can have a centered column inside a row. Now, we are going to talk about columns inside columns. Here, we have a container. Can container means margin to the left and margin to the right. And inside that, we have a row. And inside the row, we have a column with the width of 6 then inside that column we have another column placed with the width of 6 therefore uh, width 6 is divided into 2 here to explain this we go with the colors first column has BG warning color it means yellow color and the second column has the color of blue and uh, heading this heading has the color of green and when we go to the browser we see that this is the container and left side and right side you have the margin and the total container is divided into two and the first part is having the width of six columns it is shown here this is the total container and inside the row the total container is divided into two and first six columns are occupied by this div and the next six columns have no content inside these first six columns you have another six columns it means the first six columns are divided into 12 and in those 12 six columns are taken by this div now with the color of blue you can see the blue color is taking the half of the width of the yellow colored div it is here therefore it is also 
shown here this is the yellow colored dew and this is the blue colored dew therefore coal 6 first applied then another coal 6 is applied therefore you can see the difference now we are going to add two dews under an image to do it first we have created the container then we have a row here under that uh, we create another dew with the coal md8 class inside that we add the image and to center this image we go with offset to and when you go to the browser and reload now we see the image but it is not uh, a responsive one therefore to make the image responsive we go with a class for the image img fluid and when we reload the browser we see that ok it is centered now if we explain the layout here we have left margin created by the container then we have offset two columns then we have the image taking the columns of eight next we have the remaining two columns space and then the right side margin of container now we need to have two columns under this image for the text it will appear like this this is the column and first sub column the next sub column and the width of the total row will be six columns just under the image the same width of the image therefore we need to create another row with the width of the image the image, take, image takes six columns therefore we go to the text editor and inside this image div we create another row inside the row we need two columns for the text first column will be this one second column will be this one now we have created this row here inside the row we need two columns to create that we go with call 6 and another column call 6 and inside the columns we add an h1 I am heading and also we need a paragraph here we copy the content to the second row also and when we reload ok we see that we have the content under the image but the text here is not centered therefore to center the text we go with the class text center in this row we add the class it means for the total row this class is added here the total row is there this class is added therefore we reload the browser we get the total text centered ok now we are talking about making the responsive text columns it means if you decrease the screen size you will see that in smaller screens it is not appearing very great first problem that you get is the left side margin of the image it is created by this offset to class this class tells the browser that every size the offset should be 2 but we need the offset in medium size only therefore we write md here inside offset therefore it says only offset in md or larger sizes of the screen when you go to the browser and reload we see that ok in smaller screens no offset when we increase the size we have the offset another problem that you get is the smallest size 
text it is divided into two it is because this the total two divs here take uh, 12 columns of those 12 columns you have six columns and six columns here it means that those uh, total 12 columns are divided into two but uh, it says call six for every screen size it will be divided into two but you have to tell the browser it will be divided only for the medium or larger screen sizes therefore we add md here and md here also and when we reload now it is appearing great in the smallest size when we increase the size now you are able to see two columns now we are talking about how to create two divs next to an image this is the project that we discuss in this project we have the left side margin because of the container class and the right side margin it is also because of the container class inside the container this is the container limit that we have inside the container we have two offset columns here and we have eight columns content and also another remaining two offset columns this is the eight column content column therefore we have to go to the text editor and we have now created the container and inside the container we have the row inside the row we are going to create the eight column content therefore we write col md 8 then we add the offset md 2 inside this we have the image and the text therefore we have now created the main col md 8 column inside that we need a separate column for image and a separate column column for text therefore we go to the browser and look at the picture again now we have created this call md8 total column inside that we have two separate columns first one is for the image second one is for the text therefore we now create the image column which will take six columns of the total row here this is the total row that we have inside that we have six columns of image therefore we go to the browser and write call md6 we have another six columns for the text also therefore we go with call md6 again creating another column inside the first column we go for the image we write img and for the image we go with the text and write image for the alt and to make the image responsive we go with the class img fluid and when we reload we see that okay the image is placed now we need the text to go with the text we have to look at the picture again the text column is now created with the call nd6 class now this column is created but inside the column we have the text taking the total width of the column it means the 12 columns taking width therefore we write with the text editor another two columns with call md12 for the first heading part and another call md12 for the second heading part then we write h1 i am heading we also need a paragraph and copy the content to the next column also and reload the browser
what we see is not our target. Our target is this one, to have the image on the left side and two text columns on the right side. But here we get something different. It is because we haven't added the row class here. We have to place this first image and these two columns also inside a row. To create that, we need to get this first column content and second column content inside the row. Therefore, we cut this code. and create a row and inside the row we place the content again and we go to the browser and reload we see that disappearing great